now that we cover objects and variables in Python, and we've discussed type a little bit, what type of data it is. For example, in objects, it has a type uh, decoration. It says, hey, this is a, an integer, or this is a floating point number, or this is a string. Um, there's several different types of data. And in today's tutorial, we're going to talk about the uh, integer type. Integer type is very simple. Um, so what's an integer? An integer is a whole number. A number does not contain a decimal point. So, for example, 4 is an integer. 2 is an integer. Negative 3 is an integer. Uh, 90 is an integer. But 6.0 is not an integer. That's a floating point number. Anytime you see a decimal point, that is a floating point number. So if I did 78.0. 0, 0.09 that is a floating point number all right so it's different than an integer now integers have unlimited um, precision which means they'll have they'll be precise all the way up to the point where there's no more memory left and then they're no longer precise they'll be cut off at that point um, so that's just something to think about all right so let's do a little coding exercise let's use the type building function which will return to us what type of um, data we're working with. So we'll start with type and then parentheses then the number 4 or the integer 4 put that in there and see what it returns. It returns class integer. It says hey this is an integer. Let's try another one. Let's do uh, type parentheses negative 4 and that's going to return integer as well. Let's do uh, type 4.0 and we get a float. Notice the point zero returns a float. Alright. Um, how about uh, now that we see what a float is, let's talk about the other number type, which we'll discuss in a little bit some more. 1j, which is a complex number, and it returns complex. Alright. Um, now there's another thing we need to know how to do when working with um, integers, and that's convert numbers that aren't integers at the time to integers. So let's go ahead and try that out. Now the first one we'll do is uh, integer and we'll make a string. So integer 3, or I should say 3 that's a string, we're going to convert that to an integer. So we use the int, this is the integer conversion built-in function, hit return and that's going to return an integer of 3. All right. um, Let's do another one, int, and we'll convert a floating point number this time, 5.4, returns 5. Now, when we use the int build in function, it's always going to round down. So even if this was int 5.9, it's going to round down. All right. Um, same with, let's do a negative floating point number, negative 6.7, boom, rounds down to 6. Um, we cannot convert complex numbers to integers. See, we get can't convert complex to int. All right, so just keep that in mind. Um, so that's basically integers. If you can remember, any number that does not have a decimal point, it's an integer. And integers have unlimited precision up to the, what memory will allow, and they're pretty easy to work with. So in the next tutorial, we're going to take a closer look at floating point numbers. We'll see you then.